At the center of our cardiovascular system is the heart. It beats approximately 100,000 times per day. Without time off or a vacation, your heart will beat about 35 million times in a year. Even at rest, the muscles of the heart work hard, twice as hard as the leg muscles of a person sprinting. During an average lifetime, the human heart will beat more than 2.5 billion times. Your heart pumps nearly 1,800 gallons of blood throughout your body every 24 hours. That equals 657,000 gallons per year. During an average lifetime, the heart pumps about 1 million barrels of blood, enough to fill more than three super tankers. Cardiovascular disease affects not only the heart, but also the miles of blood vessels throughout the body. If you were to lay all of the blood vessels in your body end to end, they would extend for 100,000 miles. Think of it. Your vascular network is equal to four times the circumference of the earth. Yet if you're like most people, you have probably not given much thought to the vast network of blood vessels that run throughout your body. Surprisingly, most doctors and cardiologists know very little about blood vessels and vascular disease. Out of the 130 accredited MD granting U.S. medical schools, there are only about a dozen where vascular medicine is taught. Yet breakthrough discoveries, including the Nobel Prize in medicine, have unequivocally revealed that blood vessels are much more important than anyone ever realized. Wherever blood flows in your body, it flows through blood vessels. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque on the insides of your arteries. Without proper circulation, our cells starve and don't get the necessary energy and information they need to perform correctly. When this happens, every disease known to man may be generated. Medical professionals used to think that plaque would accumulate in the arteries until it completely closed them. That's not correct. We now know that when plaque becomes large and brittle, it can crack and rupture. The crack, like any other cut, in the body clots to stop the bleeding. However, when a clot occurs in the arteries, the result can be catastrophic. We now know that the body is capable of healing itself. Damaged and blocked vessels can open up and function normally again without drugs or surgery. However, as mentioned, most doctors know very little about blood vessels and vascular disease. Instead, they are trained in cardiovascular medicine heavily influenced by Big Pharma. Cardiologists spend much of their time concentrating on the heart as a pump. They learn the skills to perform bypass surgery. About a half a million bypass surgeries are performed in the United States each year, making it one of the most commonly performed major operations. Cardiologists also learn the skills of catheter-based interventions, performing angioplasties and putting in stents. The procedure, introduced in 1977, has grown into an $8 billion a year industry in the USA alone. In 2001, almost 2 million angioplasties were performed worldwide, making angioplasty the most common medical intervention in the world. As mentioned, in 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded for the discovery of a molecule produced in the lining of the blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque. This miracle molecule has been the topic of more than 20,000 medical studies since 1980. The molecule is nitric oxide. The lining of the blood vessels that produces nitric oxide is called the endothelium. It is the innermost layer of tissue that lines the blood vessel. The endothelium is only one cell layer thick. It is so razor thin that it cannot be seen by the human eye. Yet, it has the surface area of eight tennis courts. When you consider that the endothelium lines all 100,000 miles of our blood vessels. Amazing, if all the endothelial cells in the body were lumped together, they would weigh as much as the liver. The production of nitric oxide is tightly controlled by the tissue that the vessel serves. When the smooth muscle cells that surround the blood vessels are constricted, nerve stimulation signals the endothelium to create 
and release small amounts of nitric oxide directly where it is needed. As a signaling molecule and as a gas, nitric oxide will diffuse freely through cell membranes. Nitric oxide signals the smooth muscle cells to relax and to open up. By causing blood vessels to open up, nitric oxide increases blood flow through them. Nitric oxide is the strongest natural relaxant of blood vessels. The nitric oxide produced in the endothelium is your body's best self-defense against heart attack and stroke. It has been said that you are only as old as your endothelium. A healthy endothelium is slick like Teflon. By contrast, an unhealthy endothelium is sticky like Velcro, causing plaque to attach. When plaque does not stick, clots don't form, blood vessels don't harden, and you won't die from a heart attack or stroke.